Hello, and welcome back to We Ride Motos. I'm Glenn. And I'm Carrie. In this episode, we're going to visit some, we'll base ourselves out of a, our Airbnb, and then we're going to visit a bunch of hillside towns for a couple days, and then... Kill we'll, cop towns. What did I say? Side. They're definitely on the top. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And then we'll wrap up the last day. We're going to head down and we'll go to a natural hot springs. Yeah. It was really or as cool. my brother likes to call it, people soup. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was a lot of people. <laughs> So our first stop out is the town of San, and I'm going to check my notes because I can't say it, San Gigiamano. I hope I got that right. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's a very well-preserved medieval town. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, apparently, according to Wikipedia, it has everything that you'd ever want to have in a, in a medieval town. It's got a wall, that, you know, circling wall, and it's got the churches, and it's got the old buildings, and just towers and a yeah, little bit. Yeah, just the little lanes and it's just fun to kind of get lost in these little hilltop towns. Yeah, and uh, it is a UNESCO site and it was built in the 14th, 15th century mm -hmm. and uh, very well known for their leather works. So I always wanted a, I'll call it a man bag, but this mm -hmm. is where I started the search. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. Italy has some nice leather for they sure. They do. Yeah. yeah, the leather shops just yeah. They smell great. They do. On the way to Volterra, when you're coming up the hill just before the, the town, you come across a big red O, and it's kind of jokingly known as the big O. <laughs> Get your mind out of the gutter, people. <laughs> but uh, set up in 1972 by uh, an artist, and his, his idea was that you could stop there and appreciate the view by mm. looking through the big O. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> the, view, the view is very beautiful from yeah. there. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure there's uh, been some midnight rendezvous at the Big O. I think there's more than one Big O throughout Italy, actually. I think I saw some others. I heard some. So, Volterra uh, has been occupied more or less steady since the 8th century BCE. So, mm, wow. I mean, do your math on that one. That yeah. place is old. But the cool thing is... It's an amazing spot for motorcyclists to come to. Oh yeah, the ride in the is... The twisty roads up to it and and there was just, I don't know, a mile of parking for motorbikes. I think the mayor is very motorcycle friendly, I read, of that spot. Yeah, yeah, we, we I mean... And it was full. It was full. Yeah. There was bikes. There was so many bikes in yeah. there. It was, it was great. It so. was.
second day we loaded up and we went to the town of Maltosino. And again, it's famous for tanneries and, and their leather works. And the, they got a huge wall that surrounds this town and it's from the 13th century. Mm, wow. So this whole area, but this town in particular, gets they got caught up in the battles that happened between the Florence and Siena and the, and the people that supported the Roman Catholic Church and the people that supported the papacy. And so there have been a lot of battles fought yeah. in this town, but you know, it's, it's still here. We went to a little town of Pienza, I believe it yeah, was we, called. Yeah, we left Montesino yeah. and part of the loop was Pienza. Yeah, it was a nice little motorcycle loop where you hit a lot of these little hill towns. Yeah. It, it was very beautiful. I think um, they, the was the Pope from there? There was, well, one of the Popes. Of so the popes. Pope Pius II was from there. So we, when he became Pope, I guess he decided that he wanted to fix up his, his town. So. He had the whole town real rebuilt to the perfect or the ideal Renaissance town. So I guess wow. <laughs> I guess when you're the Pope and you got lots of bucks, yeah, you do what you want. That's what you do. But yeah. it, it was a cute little town. Was that the town where we went in that hardware store and it was really cool? It looked like out of Harry Potter, you know, oh. the wand shop. And I'm thinking, hey, this is cool. I want to get a picture of it. Well, that was a mistake because the, <laughs> the, owner, the owner, the owner of the shop. Had a little fit. He uh, oh. stopped serving whoever he was serving and came and was yelling at me in Italian. I had no oh, idea yeah. what I did wrong. No photo, no photo. And it's like, <laughs> yeah. man. Yeah. He did have a sign up he pointed to. It was about this big, just yeah. this tiny, and all, this, and all this stuff. Oh, yeah. and this wall of, of uh, little little boxes yeah. i don't know i don't even know what he sold too but bad i i it was i showed him i deleted the pictures oh he was to appease him but <laughs> he was adamant no yeah. photos yeah so this town's very well laid out and i and uh it's basically was the start of what we call urban planning yeah so yeah yeah just progressed from there to all across europe over the over the years yeah it's a nice little town that I'd seen it was a little bit out of the way but according to the website that I saw they had these Gregorian chants which I thought wow that would be <laughs> um, a neat experience yeah so we timed it and they even had the times and everything and we yeah, get there we're on the website <laughs> timed it all out got there yeah. and a beautiful site it was definitely worth the visit but apparently the they haven't been having the chance since, since 2015 <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know i guess they haven't got around to updating their website because that was yeah. seven years yeah they, they were playing it in the gift store on a cd but yeah uh, not really the same yeah but, but this this abbey has quite a history so the story goes that Char emperor charlemagne was coming through the area in 781 i think so. a.d whatever they call it now, AD. And then his army got incapacitated by the plague and he had a vision or a dream and, and to pick this grass, dry it out, infuse it and, and have his army drink it and 
they were healed. What kind of grass it was? I don't know what kind of grass <laughs> they grew, but anyway, it uh, is as, as as tribute. He said he would build the abbey. Yeah, yeah. and it, it was very beautiful. Like I really liked. It was very simple, but it was yeah, it was definitely striking. Yeah, so I guess it was built in the 1100s, and then by the 12 11. What do I have here? 1118, and then by 1212, it got destroyed in another one of these Siena Florentine wars. And it kind of, when, when Florence took over the area, they made this abbey, which was a very successful abbey. It had lots of land and holdings and money, and they had to cede a quarter of it to the to Florence. And I think that, they always like to brew their beer too, don't they? Yeah, well anyway, <laughs> that was kind of the end of it. It kind of went downhill until the it was rebuilt by the by the state in the 1870s. And mm-hmm. then and then the Gregorian monks that went there yeah. in the in 1990s, which we went to listen to. Mm-hmm. Well, they, you know, they moved on. They anyways. moved on. <laughs> so anyway, but it's a, it was a really neat spot. It was, uh, it was a really nice site. It was... Next stop is no, I have to look at my notes again. Bagno Vignomi. Mm. So this was a a cool little artsy kind of town. It was. You, you come yeah. into town and there's the real original. Yeah, it's got a, a square. A big square in the middle is is a pond of hot water, volcanic hot water, and then there was artists doing paintings yeah, all around and the it. Whole, and little the whole restaurant was built around this. Yeah. Um, yeah, and this so this town is is still currently, according to Wikipedia, because it's where I get all my mm-hmm. info. Uh, it's on a pilgrimage route, mm. and it has been for forever since Roman times. So that's that's where it's got its popularity. But the interesting thing is, this town has survived through all these wars almost intact, mm. and I think it's because. Uh, it was a favorite of the popes and the church people and mm. the government people. It was their holiday town spot. Yeah, so yeah. I think there was a you don't, want don't blow up my holiday town <laughs> yeah, yeah. note went out to the troops. Yeah. <laughs> so. And they had, um, it must have been used even before that because they had out in the rocks on the edge, they had these big pools carved in with yeah. channels where the water would flow and everything. Yeah. So I think it was probably yeah, I, used a long time before even. Not that it's an insignificant little town, but the town of Mont Pulciano, um, and this area is—I mean, it's a hilltop town, but this area yeah. is literally scattered with hilltop yeah, towns. They're, they're just everywhere. Um, but again, this is—you know—a town that they align themselves with Siena, or they align themselves with Florence, or however the case may be. And when the other one mm-hmm. takes over, so th- it was a very affluent town until they aligned themselves. I think they were aligned with Siena. When Siena lost out to Florence, they held out for four years, but oh. eventually got, you know, they got taken over by Florence and, and then they just kind of wound their way down and another case of it isn't what you know, it's who you know. Yeah. You know, so. Yeah. Oh, and an interesting side note, uh, well, we weren't there when it happened, but the last Sunday of, of August of every year since the 1400s, they have a barrel race through town. Oh, oh, through town. Right through town. So, <laughs> that would be fun. So if you're there at the end of August, it might be worth checking out. They like their horse races and <laughs> Bar- <laughs> part well, of Italy. <laughs> I don't know. It's, all it said was a barrel race, and I didn't really look into it, so I don't know if they're like rolling barrels oh, or, oh, I was or of where, you know, like where the barrels, like <laughs> Oblix and yeah. Asterix and Oblix. I don't know, but you know, anyway, there's a barrel race yeah. there. Maybe somebody knows they can tell us. Yeah. <laughs> as you're heading toward Rome, Saturnia, I think Saturnia. it's called. And so we thought, hey, let's spend a couple days there. That's something very different. It's just these layers of pools that have naturally formed. And it was, we found a place that was quite close. We could just walk there. Yep. And it's just free. It's like a public... Uh, yeah, there's a big paid area. Nice hot springs resort. And then, yeah. you know, then 
but there's this natural yeah it's been there for forever yeah that, there's yeah. an old mill site there and yeah so we found a place close which there isn't very many so we were lucky for that and yeah so it was it was busy very busy but wow what a neat yeah my place. brother would would definitely <laughs> appreciate like i said before he calls those hot springs when they're busy he calls them human yeah. soup and oh my goodness but, but you could because it was all these little pools you could just find your own and, oh and, yeah and, and there was these and, little oh those little red bugs oh, oh the red bugs yeah you didn't like those no i guess at certain times of the year there's more of them and it must have been uh there was more of yeah, them. Yeah, there was quite a few. It was just, I, I mean, they, they, we looked them up and they're harmless. Yeah. And they, but I mean, you're sitting in this <laughs> pond and these little, you can feel them all over your no, body. No, you can't feel them. I, well, maybe my, I could feel them in my mind. That's <laughs> yeah, all that mattered. I so. All I could think of is them wiggling up things they weren't supposed to wiggle up. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> but, um, but that was a really, that was a really neat spot. And in the yeah. bottom, they had these little marble. Well, well the marble calcium things. was, yeah. was like all sizes of little yeah and it was just kind of it wasn't like pokey or anything no it was like pumice they weighed nothing yeah. they were they were it was really cool yeah yeah, yeah. Um, so that was that wraps up a few days what we spent around and uh, you know because we're so overworked <laughs> We decided now, partly because the weather is turning on us. Yeah, we we canceled plans because we were supposed to go to Luca for seven days, and it was gonna pour the whole time. And we which it did. We've experienced the yeah when the weather comes in, what it's like. So we thought, you know, I don't really want to sit in our Airbnb for seven days while it pours. No, so you know the interesting thing is, once you're in Europe, you can get on a cruise ship. And it's cheaper than staying in Airbnbs yeah. and eating restaurants, so yeah, we, we went on a cruise. Yeah, we found a cheap one out of Rome, and yep. and that's why we were headed headed back toward Rome. Yep. So in our next one, I guess we'll, we'll do that. a little little blurb on the cruise, and uh, we'll see you in the next episode. And if you like what we're doing, again, the like and subscribe is appreciated, and uh, comment if you get a moment, and uh, we'll see you next time. See you next time. Thank you.